One of the features I glossed over inside my review of OBS 28 was the fact that they added in app audio output capture. The main reason why I glossed over it is because they basically killed voice meter with that. And I wanted to save it for another video. Which, by the way, looking at my phone, seems like uh, that this is that video. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and to go over why OBS's implementation of it is so much better than all of the rest because... It actually is kind of cool. It basically just takes your apps and puts them as separate audio sources. And the main reason why that's really good is for a couple of things. I'm going to show you them right now. So this scene that I have here is actually pretty basic because all it has is just my audio input capture, my video capture, my game capture, and my display capture. Now what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to add in my music into this scene. So the way now I would do that is not by using another audio output capture, like going to my desktop audio, but instead I would use this new filter called Application Audio Capture. And it is in beta right now, so I won't expect it to work to the full extent. I'm going to go through and add that in it, and I'm going to call this Title. Then I'm going to set the window to be Title. It basically uses the window capture layout for its uh, thing. However, it's got no preview or anything like that. So it's really basic, which I don't mind. And it, based in the, it shields this money from the game capture. So you can have it match the window tile every single time. You can match title or otherwise find a window of the same type. Or what I'm going to be using, match title otherwise find a window of the same executable. That's because if I were to go through and to, uh, you know, put on stream beats, for example, usually title would update. However, it's not. Now what I can do here is I can actually go through and add on a limiter. I'm going to turn the limiter down to be at around 23 decibels. Just so then it's just background music. I'm also going to add a limiter on my voice because it seems like that that's clipped. All right, cool. Now, what's even cooler with this is the fact that not only can you like add limiters and do all that stuff to your audio, however, you can separate the tracks of them, which makes uh, recording videos from your streams so much easier. So what you have to do is you have to go ahead and right click here, go into advanced audio properties, which doesn't show up properly. And then, what you'd want to do is you want to go through and to make sure that your audio capture is on like one and three. And then put your uh, title or music service on two and three. And that's it. Now I've separated your audio source from or your music source from your microphone. By the way, as you're noticing, it is lagging a lot when I change something. I'm not sure why. That's just a OBS bug. But now once I'm over here and I want to go through and add in something else, like, I don't know, um, hmm. If I go through and add in OBS, which, as you can tell, I can't, because it's not a feature yet. And I really wish that they could add OBS into this, so that then you can have your alerts and all that on a separate audio track. That's a feature suggestion for something in the pipeline. So instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and launch up Clone Hero. And now that I've Clone Hero launched up, I'm going to go through into my OBS signs right here. I'm going to go through in my OBS signs, adjust to this OBS window to be Clone Hero. And match title, otherwise find a window the same executable. Now all the sound from Clone Hero is going into that OBS tab that I created. So I'm going to go through right click OBS, or right click here. Hit advanced audio properties and make sure that OBS is set to be only on three. And then I'm going to set these to be on four. There we go. All right, so now if I go through and play anything, right? All of this is going through another audio track inside my editing software. So like all this music, I can just go through and start playing some copyrighted and you guys won't be able to hear it. Like Green Day's 21 Guns.
20 minutes later. And that sound now can be really useful for those playing Pony Rope, because as you can see now, with my audio sources, that was inside of its own audio source. So now I can go through and I can add a filter onto it and limit it so it doesn't go above my voice. So I can have it go probably like two decibels under, which is really cool, I love that. Now this isn't just useful for those of us who play plastic guitar. For those of us who play music, it can also be really useful because it allows you to drag in your audio from Reaper into OBS separately. Okay, so I've got Reaper open up on my computer, right? So I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go through into OBS here. Right click, add, application audio, I'll put capture and I'm going to call you Reaper. And then I'm going to go through and put you right there. I love that you can do that now. Well, and that's about it for this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to see me turn these into shorts, let me know because I can do that too. For now, please click here to watch my initial on my initial video on OBS 28 and click here to watch my video on the Elgato face cam.